In this video, I'm going to talk about solving proportions. Uh, in this case, when we solve proportions, um, a proportion is basically a fraction equal to a fraction. I could also say that a proportion is a comparison of two different ratios. 16 over P is a ratio. 24 over 12.9 is also a ratio. Ratio is just a number, another name for fraction. I like to think of it. Okay, so to solve proportions, we use what's called cross, I, I call it cross multiply. Um, uh, it's also called cross product. There's a couple of different names for it. Um, so in this case, when I, if I want to solve for this variable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the numbers that are across from one another and multiply them. Now, the cross part is not quite accurate. It's, it's more of a cross as in an X, not a cross as in across the equal sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 16 and 12.9 and I'm going to multiply them together. And I'm going to take P and I'm going to take 24 and I'm going to multiply them together. Okay, so this is what we mean by cross multiply. Not across as in across the equal sign, but cross as in it makes an X when you multiply these numbers. So 16 times 12.9 is equal to um, P times 24. That's how we find that. Okay, now from there, this looks like a pretty simple equation for us to solve. We just have to figure out uh, what 16 times 12.9 is, plug that into your calculator, and you get uh, 206.4 is equal to 24P. I'm going to put the 24 in front of the P because that's usually how we write variables times numbers. Okay, so in this case, I need to divide by 24 to solve. And 206 divided by 24 is, in this case, 8.6. And so that is what the variable is equal to. Okay. Now, if you really want to, uh, what you can do is you can take this and plug it back into, um, you can plug it back in to see if it is correct. Uh, this is a little bit of a longer process to check this. You take 16 divided by 8.6. So that's the left side of this proportion. And 16 divided by 8.6 is, uh, it's a long repeating decimal. We'll just call it uh, approximately 1.86. Now there are more decimals after that, but I'm just gonna leave it as 1.86. Okay, and then you can also check 24 divided by 12.9 and see approximately what that is. So 24 divided by 16.9, not 16.9, 12.9, excuse me is going to be 1.86 approximately. And again, there are more decimals after that. But if you notice that both of these fractions are indeed the same decimal. So the left and the right side are equal. So that tells me that the variable that I got, the answer that I got is in fact correct. Okay, so that's one example of solving proportions. Uh, let's do a couple more examples so we can get a better handle on this. Uh, for example, what if you have a number with a variable? So what about 3x over 15 equals 3 over 5? Okay, so what if you have a number with the variable? That really doesn't change anything for us. We're still just going to do the cross product. We're still just going to cross multiply. So in this case, I'm going to skip a few steps here. I'm going to take 3x times 5, which is 15x. And I'm also going to take 15 times 3, which is going to be 45. Okay, now I, I skipped a few steps there. I didn't show all my work, but I'm just kind of speeding through this problem. Okay, so 15x is equal to 45. Uh, I'm going to divide by 15 here. Divide by 15, x is equal to 3. Okay, so, um, so the solution that I got is that x is equal to 3. Uh, again, you can check this to see if you did this correctly. So in this case, if I plug it back in, 3 times 3 is going to be 9 over 15. And I'm also comparing 3 over 5. Well, actually, what you can do, this 9 over 15, you can reduce that to 3 fifths. So these two fractions are indeed the same. So that, that tells me that uh, that solution is actually accurate. I did get the right answer. OK, so that's one example. How about one more? Let's do one more. 8 over 5x is equal to 2 over 11. Okay, so here's another one. This time the variable is on the bottom. That really, again, doesn't make any difference when we solve these type of equations. 
Um, when we solve proportions, we're still just going to use the cross product. So I'm going to take 5x times 2, and I'm going to take 8 times 11. Now one question I, I usually get when solving this is, does it matter what order you do it? Uh, you multiply these numbers? No, not really. I can take 5x times 2, and I can do that first, or I could have done 8 times 11, I could have done that first, and so then it would have been 88 equals 10x. I could have done that, but um, it really honestly doesn't make a difference which order I have it. Uh, as you can see, it's either 88 is on the left or on the right, 10 is on the left, and 10 is on the right. It doesn't really make a difference. Anyway, I'm going to solve this. Uh, divide by 10, divide by 10. Love dividing by 10, all you do is move the decimal. So in this case, x is equal to 8.8. .8. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to plug this back in to see um, to see if we got this correct, to see if that is in fact the correct answer. So 2 divided by 11 is going to be 0.18 repeating over the 1 and 8. Okay, if you plug that into your calculator, see what that is. So on the other hand, if I take 8 divided by 5 times 8.8, .8, I get 8 over 44. Okay, now one thing I can do is I can take 8 divided by 44, plug it into my calculator and see what kind of decimal I have. Or, if I don't have a calculator with me, I can simply just reduce this. So, I know that 4 goes into both, both of these, so that leaves me 4 goes into 8 twice and 4 goes into 44 11 times. So you now notice that this fraction is the same as what we have up here. So that tells me that the left and the right sides were in fact the same since this solution, if we have a solution of 8.8. .8. Okay, so there's a couple of examples of solving proportions. Uh, the one thing you got to remember is cross product. It's called cross product because the numbers that we multiply create a cross when we multiply them. Okay, so that's where the name comes from. Uh, and if you can get that down, all you do after the cross product is you simply just uh, solve it, just like you do a, do a normal equation, and you get your solution. And make sure that you are always checking to see if that is the correct solution. Just takes another minute or two, uh, extra couple of seconds to see if you get the correct answer.